the, honor, uh, the Honorable Member Calgary Albo. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker, and I uh, rise uh, to support Bill 27, third reading. Um, what is um, encouraging, and, and uh, I, th I want to give the government credit for, and it's nice to see in this, in this chamber that we're pursuing what I would consider to be the gold standard of conflict of interest uh, uh, legislation uh, in, in our country. Uh, and I think that uh, it's, um, it's, it's, it's nice to see. Uh, early uh, th this afternoon's debate on the first couple of bills has been remarkably civil. Uh, and, and it's been kind of a nice change from what we see uh, earlier in the afternoon. So uh, long may it continue, Mr. Speaker. I'm sure you, I'm sure you would agree with that. Um, what I like about this is that consistency is very important uh, in terms of applying ethical standards. Uh, as the member for uh, Cypress Medicine Hat uh, 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 said, uh, we in this uh, chamber have uh, certain rules that apply to us in terms of conflict of interest. Those rules are entirely appropriate. Uh, we have to comply with them and, uh, and have a very active ethics commissioner's office, uh, which is, I will also say, very responsive to uh, any requests that uh, I've certainly ha ever had of them and, and very helpful in, in clarifying and interpreting the rules and making sure that uh, we stay on side with, uh, with those rules. Um, the 140 public agencies that will be uh, affected by this will uh, be uh, not only seen to be more accountable to Albertans, uh, but will be more accountable to Albertans. They will, and I think correctly, should be held to a high standard by the people of this province, uh, and this legislation certainly helps them do that. Mechanically, the agencies will now have to submit their codes of conduct to the uh, Ethics Commissioner for review within four months of the bill being proclaimed. Um, my sincere hope is that the Ethics Commissioner's Office uh, is provided with the resources they require to process this rather substantial amount of work. Um, and uh, um, yeah, because, of course, that is a relatively short time frame, but um, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's uh, going to uh, ensure that this uh, happens relatively uh, quickly. Uh, the agencies themselves will be uh, forced to update their uh, own codes of conduct internally uh, to disclose conf uh, conflicts of interest uh, and have uh, restrictions placed on uh, gifts, for example. Um, again, that's work for those agencies uh, to do. Uh, but, but that work is, uh, is both not uh, entirely uh, 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 new work, but, and, and, but certainly, of course, uh, worthwhile. I, I will uh, say that uh, a question I did have when I was going through the, uh, the bill uh, was what impact it may have on attracting and retaining high-quality candidates for these very important roles, especially at senior levels. Uh, and in particular, the 12-month period after leaving a job uh, where future employment is subject to conflict of interest rules. In the end, I think that's a good rule. Uh, it is very important that uh, no one use their position uh, to, uh, to get benefit uh, uh, personally in an inappropriate way. Um, I, I, I grapple and, and just raise a, a, a small concern that, that perhaps that, that would mean that it would require us to uh, increase uh, the, the, the salary that would be required to attract qualified people or perhaps reduce the pool of qualified people, which are two sides of the same coin. Um, I just encourage the government, of course, to keep an eye on that uh, particular challenge. Uh, but given the, uh, the two-year uh, notice period uh, or uh, immediately after reappointment, which allows for uh, people in those uh, positions to, to make a choice, uh, that seems to be fair. Uh, so, again, uh, with, uh, with, with really no hesitation, Mr. Speaker, uh, and uh, notwithstanding the, 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 the small concerns that I have, or I, I wouldn't, wouldn't even call them concerns, really just uh, questions or just points to note in terms of implementation, uh, I uh, and the Alberta Party Caucus are uh, proud to stand in support of Bill 27. Thank you.